So hello and welcome to Quick Tips. So in this video, we will see how your customers will be able to log in to the WooCommerce website using their social media accounts. So each time when they log into your WooCommerce website, they do not need to remember the username or email address or the password. They can simply log in using their Facebook or Google account. Here I have given only two options, login using Facebook and login using Google. However, you can add many other social media networks like Twitter, Amazon, LinkedIn. So in this video, we will see how they can log in using Facebook and Google account. So they don't need to remember their username and password and they can link their social media accounts with your WooCommerce website. At the time of checkout also, they will be able to log in using Google or Facebook or any other social media account. So we are going to use WooCommerce social login plugin, which is a paid plugin. And the price of this plugin is $79. And you can also buy this plugin from other websites such as GPL Mall or any other website. And you may get it at $1.15 or maybe at a different price. However, you will not get any technical support from this website and you will not get any update for this plugin. The price of the plugin is $79 and it includes one year free support and one year update it has 30 days money back guarantee and here you can see the features of this plugin enable social login for seamless checkout and account creation customers can log into your website using their facebook twitter google amazon linkedin paypal discuss yahoo or wiki accounts instead of creating a new user account credentials over 77 percent of consumers prefer social media login when using e-commerce website customer prefers social sign-in for security and personalization now 90 percent of people have encountered social login before and more than half of people use it so let's start with the video hello and welcome to woocommerce plugin series of quick tips in this series of videos i will show you all the details about woocommerce plugin to create e-commerce website if you are new to my channel then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. So I am already logged into the WordPress dashboard of the website. Now we are going to install the plugin. Now let's go to plugin and then go to add new. I already have this plugin downloaded on my computer. So you can buy the plugin and download it on your computer. Now let's go to upload plugin. Click on browse and browse the social login plugin. Click open and then click install now. Now click on activate plugin. Okay, so the plugin has been installed and it is activated. Now go to WooCommerce and then go to settings. Now here you will see the option social login. Click on social login. Now here you will see the settings of this plugin. It display social login buttons on these pages. So you can add checkout my account and the third will be checkout notice so it can be shown on three different places that will be checkout page my account page and checkout notice page so from here people will be able to log in or they will be able to create account using their social media login okay now display link your account button on thank you page so if you check this box, it will enable to allow customers to link their social account to the thank you page for the faster login and checkout next time they purchase. Okay, now these are the basic settings. You can leave them as it is. Now these are the providers, Facebook, Twitter, Google. It shows that these are enabled. Now we are going to see the settings of this plugin. Okay, now here you will see different options. Okay, now first click, click on save changes because we have added checkout notice. So click on save changes okay now go to the first option in this video we will connect two different accounts we will connect facebook and we will also connect google so that people will be able to log in using their facebook and google accounts you can also enable twitter amazon linkedin paypal discuss yahoo and vk now you will see all the settings on this plugin also i'll show you how to enable these options so first start with facebook so click on facebook now on each option you will see this option here read the docs you can click on it and open in the new window so you will see all the settings how to connect your website with google or facebook account 
and you can also go through these settings and you will be able to do it using this document also okay now let's go to this option here you will see you will need to create an account with developers.facebook.com so click on it if you already have developers account with facebook then you don't need to recreate it but if you do not have you can start creating an account with developers.facebook.com so we are going to create an account here so click on get started now we need to create an account so it will verify your account you will need to enter your mobile number first and it will send a verification sms you need to enter the verification code so that it will verify your account and click continue okay now this is your primary email address check the box i agree then come from the email address now which one do you want developer so we are going to use it as a developer and click complete registration okay so we have created the developers account first click on create an app so click on it now select an app type now here you will see consumer connect consumer products and permissions like facebook login and instagram basic display on your to your app so check this option and click next again now display the name so this will be the name of your website or your product so i'm just going to make it as whatever your website name is you can use that your email address and these are the other options so click on create app now it will ask you for the password enter the password and click submit all right now you here you will see different options select this one set up facebook login it will be for the website so select web this will be your website url so enter the url of your of the home page of your website click save now here click on settings then click on basic now here you will see the app id and the app secret click on show so this will be the secret key okay now let's go back to the website here you can enter the app id copy the app id and also copy the secret key enter it here and these are the text on the button so click on save changes it is already enabled so click on save changes okay here we need to make some changes also so here enter the website url your website url and this will be the privacy policy url and the terms of services url so your website must have these two pages if you do not have them then you can create these pages and then enter the url of these pages so let's go to the website and see if we, if we have these pages i do have it on the main url so i'll go to the main url and i'll copy the url privacy policy i'll enter it here and in terms of services all right if you have an app icon then enter the icon of your website it should be 1024 by 1024 if you do not have it just keep it as it is leave it blank select the category this will be the business if whatever your category of the website you can select the category and then click save changes now here click on facebook login settings it should be enabled now this will be the url for the redirect and here you will see the redirect url so copy this and enter it here all right now click on save changes now here make it live all right so it seems that it has been configured now let's go back to the website and let's go ahead and check whether we can see that login option here 
So I'm opening the website in incognito mode. And I'm going to my account page. Now here you will see the option Facebook login. Okay, now here you will see the option to log in with Facebook. So we can log in using our Facebook account. Now if I try log in with Google, it will not work because we have not configured it. So let's configure login with Google. So let's disable Twitter. Uncheck it and save the changes. We will also disable the other options which are here that will be LinkedIn. Save changes. Now we are going to configure the Google. So click on Google. It shows enabled. Now click on this document again. So these are the options. So it shows that you need to create an console.cloud.google.com account. You need to create a project there. So just click on this link and open it. Now log into your account using your Gmail. So we are going to create a project for this social login. Now click on create project. Agree and continue. Okay, so we are going to create this new project. This will be the name of the project. If you want to change it, change it. You want to create. Okay, so we want to select project. The project has been created. Now, these are the settings of your project. Now here you will see the option API services. So click on it and you will see this option OAuth consent screen. Click on it. So it will be external create. Now enter your information of your website. Yeah, select your email address, logo if you have it. This will be the domain of your website. So copy the domain of your website, enter it here. Privacy policy link again. Copy the link and paste it here. Terms of services link and paste it here. Now you need to authorize domains. So you need to add domain here. Now this will be the developer contact information, the email address. Okay, click on save and continue. Now go to credentials. Click on create credentials and select this option OAuth client ID. Application type will be web application. Enter your website URL here. Now this will be the redirect URLs. So copy this one. Enter it here. Click on create. Okay, now you will see your client ID and your client secret. Go back to the website. Enter the client ID here. Copy it. Enter it here and copy it again this client secret and enter it here and click on save changes you need to make sure that it should be enabled okay now this has been configured let's go back to the website and let's click on my account again okay you will see two options only because we have disabled the other options so click on login with google now here you will see the option so that you can select your Google account and you can log into the website using your Google account. So this is how you can configure your WooCommerce social login plugin and your customer will be able to log in. They will be able to create account using their social media accounts. 
if you want to add another options you can simply go to that page let's suppose you want to add twitter also so go to twitter open this document and here you will see the option how to set up twitter and you will be able to configure the twitter also and people will be able to log in using twitter account so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips